That paper was published in 2011. Since then, there have been many dozens of studies exploring the same thing, as well as meta-analyses of all those data. And it does appear that diet can have a highly significant role in eliminating or at least reducing the symptoms of ADHD. So much so that some of the children are able to not take medication at all or eventually wean themselves off medication as young adults and as adults. One interesting question is whether or not adults should modify their diet in order to increase their levels of focus if they're already having normal levels of focus, but would like more or would like to reduce existing adult ADHD. Brings us right into the realm of what are called omega-3 fatty acids. I've talked many times on this podcast about the known benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, in particular, it getting a one gram, 1,000 milligrams or more, even as much as 2,000 milligrams each day of the so-called EPA component of omega-3 fatty acids, known to have antidepressant effects mood elevating effects known to have important effects protecting the cardiovascular system. I think it's now clear that the immune system also benefits that omega-3 fatty acids that include a gram or more of EPAs are very beneficial. Typically that's done through fish oil. Liquid fish oil is gonna be the most cost efficient, but there are capsule forms. Omega-3s have shown, been shown to have all these positive health benefits. Do they have positive effects on focus and attention? And the answer is you can find studies that support that statement and the effects are significant, but the effects are modest. You can also find studies that show no effect. However, much like with omega-3s and antidepressants, whereby ingestion of Omega-3 fatty acids of a gram or more of EPA per day allows people with major depression to get away with taking lower doses of antidepressant medication. It does seem that ingestion of omega-3 fatty acids in adults that include EPAs of 1,000 milligrams or more can allow adults with ADHD or mild attention deficit issues to function well on lower doses of medication and in rare cases to eliminate medication entirely.